Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod. We are back again for the first time in quite a long time. For those of you that haven't seen Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod before, this is an absolutely gigantic mod for Nuclear Throne that I have played on my channel before for quite a while actually uh, and it's a mod that I love so much. It might actually be one of the best mods for any roguelike I've ever played. It's that big and just transformative. It's huge and um, I really wanted to jump back in because there's been a new update released recently that added a bunch of new areas, a bunch of new enemies, a bunch of new guns as well as some very nice settings. One of those being, oopsie, that's not what I meant to do. One of those being 16 by 9 mode which is really nice, um, which is an uh, improvement on what Nuclear Throne normally is. Nuclear Throne normally uh, has these backgrounds here, but now 60 by 9 mode has been added, as well as a 60 FPS mode, because normally the game is at 30 FPS maximum. So, two really good settings, as well as adding weeklies and dailies and daily races, uh, which is a really interesting addition to the game as well. So, some really, really cool stuff with this update. I did put a poll over on my Discord. Uh, for whether you guys would want to see a brand new save file for this reimagining of the series or like reboot of the series should I say or if you'd rather stick to my old save file that I already had but a lot of you actually said that you'd rather see a new save file and I understand both ways and those of you that did vote for um, an existing save file I do apologize but we'll have just as much fun re-going through everything that we've got here we have Obviously, all the normal characters to unlock, as well as quite a few modded characters as well. So, we're going to go in as fish to start with. As well, you can see we have an absolute ton, absolute ton of um, golden weapons to unlock here, which are basically different starting weapons, as well as new skins. Um, we can see our ultra modifiers in here as well. We've got crowns to unlock. And there is even a bunch of challenge modes that you can play in this as well. Uh, as you can see here, there's like casual mode, hardcore mode, one hit wonder, loop start, no elite, snow hood, gorgola. There's all these different various game mode types that have different unlocks and stuff. Really, really interesting. There's just so much going on with this mod. But anyways, let's jump in as good old fish and start her out and see what we can get done. But for those of you that haven't seen Nuclear Throne before, I will say to you, how? <laughs> it's a really, really good roguelike, and probably one of the oldest, um, not the oldest, but certainly one of, um, and uh, we've actually already got a new weapon here, and you can see these damage numbers that are popping off enemies are also new too. Those are something that you can enable or disable in the settings, but I actually quite like them. I think they fit the style of the game very well. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to go into too much detail about Vanilla Nuclear Throne, because many of you already know about Vanilla Nuclear Throne. And if you don't already, I suggest going back and watching my Vanilla series first. Uh, but I will go into detail about um, Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod as we go, because many of you might not have seen my Ultra Mod series. And as I said as well, there's been a lot of changes since I last played it too. There's plenty of things we can go over there. I mean, one thing here, you can see that little mouth just closed there, but we could go and interact with it if we wanted. That's one of the alt floors that we can go to. But we're already seeing here, there's some new weapons that we're seeing, new mutations that we're seeing. Um, you can see that the weapons actually uh, have a score. So this one's a minus one rating, this one's a zero rating. Uh, let's take a look at what we've got going on here. So we've got patience, which is choose a mutation uh, in the next area. We got flexible elbows, which is new, uh, and some of the vanilla ones have also been tweaked. So, in fact, every single one of these is a little bit different than the vanilla version. So these four are all vanilla, but let's go through them all. So we've got flexible elbows. Basically, our secondary will reload while we're using our primary, but at a lowered speed. But if it's already reloaded, we gain a bonus 30% to our fire rate, and every enemy has a 10% chance to drop an additional item. Pretty interesting. Extra feet normally would just give you a bit faster movement speed um, and walking on normal uh, walking on any terrain, but this is faster roll, more walk speed. Walking on normal terrain does not uh, slow us down. Um, close dodges sometimes drop resources and can't be displaced by enemies. Basically, you can't be moved by enemies. So very interesting. Here we have Rapid's Paw, which is 35% more ammo and health and 10% more weapons. Eagle Eyes is better accuracy. Small aim assist slash homing, and we can see the future. And then Boiling Veins is no damage from explosions, fire, frost, or lava when under 5 HP. So I think this time around, let's go with extra feet, which is something I don't normally take, but faster roll seems useful for just getting around. And the uh, the near the near miss rolls for extra resources sounds interesting, in my opinion. So we'll go for that. Try this out. Now, please do let me know if the uh, audio of the game is a little loud. You'll see I have it on 0.02%. 
It still seems a little loud for me. Um, I hope it isn't for you guys. But if you want me to turn it up or down or whatever, let me know and I'll try and work something out. We do have our first boss here. Um, we'll get him with the blood cannon. So the blood cannons are really good. Uh, they do good damage, but also they delete bullets. I love the way the damage numbers grow in size. I'm sure later in the game that's going to get a little bit nutty. <laughs> but for right now, it's okay. Okay, so what we got going on here. So we got uh, energy brain, energy weapons do more damage. That's basic. Throwing, bush, uh, throwing butt, sorry. We get the water boost and dodge frames instead of um, five. Get even more ammo from more, from ammo pickups. Okay, that's really good. Um, flexible elbows once again. Euphoria, slow enemy bullets. When you get hit, you gain invincibility for a short moment. That's nice. And then this is new completely, I think. Ecstatic fists. All damage to enemies is increased based on how full your HP is. Plus 25% at max HP. Let's go for that. That seems rather good. And we are into the sewers here. This is the first area where... Ooh, okay. You can see the damage numbers actually have, like, point... Like, so we're getting 7.29 damage there. That's really cool. That's really cool. So, up to 25% extra damage when we're at max HP seems really goddamn good. Do you know, these damage numbers... Not something I ever thought about needing a nuclear throne, and honestly, it's not necessary, but it's really nice with all these extra new weapons and stuff, basically being able to see what does more damage, and also on top of that, um, it just fits the style of the game very well. So we can take a charge laser here. So these are just lasers that you can literally charge up to spend a bit more ammo, but do a bit more damage. We do have a sewer door here, but we have to grab an explosive to get through that. I think we're all, all done here, aren't we? There you go, yeah. We're not going to go through that at this moment in time. Robot has been unlocked. We're going to unlock characters pretty quick here, I'd say. Ooh, I like the charge up. That's pretty good. No HUD game mode unlocked for killing a thief. Boom! Oh, whoa! Okay, that's really goddamn cool. So, the, the, the non-charged up shot is pretty pathetic, actually, but... Mid-charge is okay, but the full charge is where it's at. <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. I love that. And then we did take some damage there, which means our damage bonus is lessened. Oh, God. Some of those enemies can shoot through walls. Not something I'm that down with. But with this being a new save file, we've got all the main secrets of the base game to go with, but then everything else as well. Right, what we got going on here? So, Open Mind is new to us. E well, it's a vanilla, but it'll be new a bit new. Opening chests fully reloads your weapons and extra chests. You can also see the contents of weapon chests. Kind of interesting. Everything that deals more than one damage deals one less. That's pretty good. Higher ammo max and energy brain once again. Energy brain with this, um, with this charge laser does kind of speak to me, but tough shell seems good. We'll pick up this yo-yo weapon here. Um, ooh, yo-yo weapon's pretty good. The yo-yo weapon, I don't, th I think I have seen these before, I'm pretty sure these were in the last update I played with, but it basically seems like a splinter weapon, but it bounces back, which is kind of insane. Also, they ricochet off walls, which is always good. They seem to have pretty good range as well. I mean, you're seeing how much, like, we're getting done from this. A frost pistol there? Uh, it's, the problem is, at the minute, I want to change weapons constantly, but at the same time, I don't want to take too many risks sort of thing. Oop, we've opened up the uh, the portal. Oop, no, I don't want to go through there yet. Oops. Um, Good old classic. So we've got long arms here. We've got good old classic scarier face. I am noticing that patience is available every single time now, which is definitely new. We'll take scarier face. 20% less HP for enemies. Slightly as effective on big health pools. Interesting. We've got the immediate exit here, which is really nice. A new addition to this mod. Um, Or if we go up here, we can see the actual crown vault. Um, and these crowns you can basically take to modify how the game plays. We won't be taking any of those on our first run because it's a bit risky. We've got a dragon skull here. I think I remember what the dragon skull indicates, but I'm not going to spoil anything for those of you that might be new to Ultramod. By the way, for those of you that are looking to download Ultramod, I can leave a link to it in the description. It is a single download. It is not mul this is not multiple mods. This is not a mod pack. This is a single mod. And it is a single, incredibly good mod. Boom, bow. Now, I do believe that Ultramod is based on an older version of Nuclear Throne. It's not on the newest version that you would find on the official release. But it, it implements a lot of the features from the official release version. So you don't have to worry about missing out on certain things. For the most part, it'll be the same experience. 
Ooh, look at those damage numbers getting chunky. Oh my god. Well, okay, so the yo-yo weapon is, is quite insane against bosses. I'm definitely seeing that for sure. Um, we get uh, roids. We also got the pot shot here, which I'd be interested to try out. Ooh, so this is a this is a pop weapon. I think it's a pop weapon with um, some fire and freezing abilities, which is really cool. I like the freezing. The freezing seems very strong. This is good stuff. Oh, God. Wasn't expecting that. Take out these turrets real quick. I think the yo-yo gun's going to be better off here because it bounces around a bit. Explosive boys ain't my style, thank you. Ooh, that was a bad hit. Good, good. And I think that's everything. The triple pop gun. Ooh, triple pop gun sounds like it could be lethal. Um, we've got normal stuff here. So this is this is normal, but kind of new. Hammerhead. Push through walls a limited number of times as normal. Find resources and walls as normal. Faster and more wall debris. Uh, and unused wall breaches give resources next area. Mmm, the resources next area sounds very good. We also have this, which is new, Enriched Metabolism. This is actually completely new to this update. Negate every fourth hit you take and get ammo instead. That's very nice. And then we've also got Sharp Stress, which is a mix between, I think, Sharp Teeth and High Stress. Whenever you take damage, deal damage to uh, all enemies on screen, reload your weapons and as HP... Uh, reload your weapons as HP gets lower. Interesting. Um, I think I'm going to go for Hammerhead. Oh, God. I almost died right there. We gotta be a little careful of uh, some of the shots that were coming in there. Okay, the damage numbers are getting pretty high here, so we should be okay. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we should be okay. There you go, we got through it. Oh, that was a little scary. We are at max HP again, though, lovely. Uh, we got the rebel unlocked. We're getting a lot of character unlocks here. We got the sheep unlocked as well, which is a modded character. Now, by the way, I do have some thumbnail art for some of the characters, but not all of them. So some of the modded characters we won't have thumbnail art for. But just for the longevity of the game and playing the modded characters, I don't think that's a big issue, is it? I'm hoping it's not a big issue for many people. I'm really liking this weapon here. Flame Splinter Gun. We'll take that, I think. Ooh, yeah, this seems very good. That guy almost threw a car at me. That was almost a little scary. I need to use my roll more often. I tend not to use my abilities very much in Nuclear Throne, and it, it's a damn shame because some of them are quite useful. God damn, the fire on these seems so good. We also got an auto crossbow here, which is always good. But I'm actually more interested in the splinter fire weapon right now because it's multi-purpose. And it seems to have some like decent AoE because the fire that trails off of it does damage. Uh, we do have our boss this stage, I think. Good. Try and get that. Rads there. I'm really, really liking the damage on this thing right now. You can see some new enemies here and there as well. I've not really been talking about them much, but we do have some new enemies here and there. IDPD. Toxic line. I'm just going to see what this does. Oh, it's literally a toxic line. Okay. A little bit scary. Toxic uh, damage is a lot more deadly than you'd think. But at the same time, I think it's nerfed slightly against the player in this mode. Not as bad. We're going into our second crown vault here, which I think gives us something special, if I remember correctly. Um, gamma Guts. Enemies touching you take damage. Uh, don't take damage from enemies that you kill using Gamma Guts. You take 50% less from air contact damage. Seems pretty useful. We'll take that. Hey, here it is. So we actually get weapon modifiers here. So we can add flame. Um, hits occasionally spawn fly fire onto our already flaming thing. Or we can add radiation. Hits occasionally infuse rads into your enemy. Let's try that out, shall we? And we'll take that now, shall we? Good, good, good. Seems that like we're getting a ton of unlocks here. Um, and we can just go. Again, I'll be, I'll be taking no crown at the moment. We get the car thrower. I'm sorry. That is, that is as it sounds, yes. It is literally a car thrower. Okay, 
Let's take out you with the car thrower. Oh my god, this boss every single time. No, he got me. Every single time, this guy always, always gets me. But as is tradition in Nuclear Throne, you end up having quite a lot of deaths. Um, and normally one run is never one singular... Um, one video, sorry, is never one singular run. That has been the case time and time again. But we'll try and go to one of the additional areas here. Um, and see what's going on over there. So that's one of them, as you just saw. This is something that I knew prior to this video, but yeah. Um, but yeah, it's going to happen that we die from time to time. Little Hunter um, is one of the ones that uh, tends to be uh, a big problem for me. I die to him pretty often, and uh, I'm sure that I'll, uh, I'm sure that I'll, in due time, learn to hit him even more than I already do. I do not like coming into this area with only our base pistol. I do see a purple skull there that I'm unfamiliar with. Obsidian throwing knife. Oh, that's literally a knife that you throw. I don't think I want that. Let's see what this skull's got going on. Let's kill this guy first. What's this skull got going on? Touch. Oh god, it spawned a boss. Oh my god. Why can't I pick up the obsidian throwing knife? Oh, my weapons are cursed now. Now that I pushed that skull. Cursed weapons cannot be dropped unless they're switched with another cursed weapon. Or unless you complete a cursed floor. So, this put, this this creates some problems for us. Because now we have a, a cursed pistol. Which I don't like the idea of. <laughs> Let's try and not die for the rest of this floor. Explosive shot enemies are certainly risky. We got through it. Okay, health chest, health chest. Thank you. Chicken unlocked. Very nice. Um, okay, move through here now. Impact risks. Corpses, uh, corpses fly and hit harder. Faster corpses can destroy walls. Minus HP for extra, uh, for less enemy HP. Damn my guts again. I'm going to go with impact risks. I quite like that. And we got two here, so we'll take... Got puffy cheeks, which is something new as well. Preempt he'll reload up to two times, extra shots loaded at 6% reload speed, and 10% secondary reload speed. Recycle glands, kind of nice. Open mind. I'm going to go with the ecstatic fists again here. The extra damage seems very valuable. Ooh, there's new, uh, like, lines in the floor for um, impact wrists. That's really cool. Oh, dude, that health exploded. I forgot that happened. Oh, dude. I am loving impact wrists right now. This is so satisfying. I'm so scared just of this this stage in general. Oh my god, I've I've walked into the belly of the beast here. Okay, good. My weapon is still cursed, so we're still in a bad position, but I think going through the crown vault will uncurse it for us. Ah, oh, and it did open. Nice. Wasn't sure that it would. Dude, that, that them screech marks on the floor are really cool for impact risks. That's definitely new to this patch. Um, Let's go with Rabbit's Paw. Extra ammo drops and stuff. So this should uncurse our weapons, I believe. Uh, we can just exit through here. We don't actually need a crown. This should uncurse our weapons. Yes, and it, indeed it does. So we at least now can drop our weapons, which is... Very, very important for us. You can see impact wrist is actually hugely important for us here. Because it is it is allowing us to deal a hell of a lot more damage than we otherwise would be. Oh, the boss is here. We have to fight you again, do we? Same guy as last time. I'd like to get a different weapon before I uh, take you on fully. But who knows how plausible that's going to be. Okay, I did manage to get a flame shotgun, which seems good. Got another gear mode unlocked. Nice, we got another gun there as well. Um, 
Bolt marrow, always good. Gamma guts. Shotgun shoulders. Shells bounce further and can't be deflected. I mean, we are using a shell weapon now, so let's try that out. It's a little scary, but we are on another new floor here. I think this is a new floor. It looks new. There's definitely a lot of new enemies here. Oh god, there's a lot of poison. Okay, this is definitely new, because normally enemies don't use poison. Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh god, let's go for at least one more run this one. Uh, we're not going to take that floor this time, because that floor was scary. Uh, that seems to be uh, the hardcore floor, if we want to really challenge ourselves. So we'll, we'll go regular path, at least most of it here, and see what comes of that. Oh my god. Maybe we can uh, make our way over towards that fish skull this time and go that way instead. Okay, that just spawned the boss. Same as the uh, same as the skull did last time. Oh god, I got briefly hit there. Take everything out first, and then we'll take this guy out with the shotgun. Nice. Okay, what has this done then? Is this going to take us to another new floor or not? I'm unsure. Got something else new here as well. We've got Rage. Uh, each kill increases drop rate, all weapon reload, and decreases accuracy slightly. Um, 50 Rage each time you get hit. So kind of like a building thing, but we can lose it when we get hit. We've also got Power Craving here. Every weapon has one random mod. Max mods increase by one and increase the effectiveness of weapon mods. More weapon mods in Crown Balls. Let's take that. Aha, we are in the underwater section here. So this is actually a, a section that you can get to in the vanilla game, but it's not accessed in the same way. There is going to be some alternate routes and stuff to get to places, which I think is fun. Now, we do have to be currently a little careful of our uh, HP. It's not ideal. We've got a Kraken pistol here. Intriguing. Okay, we're through. Is there anything else we can take a look at in here? I don't think there is. A little bit worried about my current HP. Have we got anything survival-based that we're going to come across yet? Hammerhead, again, is pretty good. Uh, I think I'm going to take Hammerhead once again. Um, and then, honestly, Impact Wrists were so good last time, I'm definitely going to take that again. I, I just The visuals on it are awesome, but also the destroying walls is really nice, and then hitting enemies for damage, of course, is very useful. This Kraken Pistol is very good, although it does seem to direct the corpses towards me, which is not ideal. Oh, what the hell's going on with this car? Did you see that then? It kind of made a little... It's got a little star on top of it, and it made like a little decal sort of thing when I walked past it. Is there a weapon that's explosive here, maybe? I'm going to have to pay attention to that next time we come down here, by the looks of it. Might not be something for this time. Anyways, we're at 1 HP right now, so... Um, <laughs> we do have uh, Hypersomnia, which uh, means that the enemies don't attack us at the start of a stage, which I'm going to take. It's pretty useful. And Hammerhead gave us some healing. The extra resources it dropped. Very good to see. Oh, we got the boss. I'm not particularly ready for you, boss, so forgive me if I, uh, if I run away from you fast. To be fair, I killed you fast, so... Split Seeker Pistol, I will take. Seeker Pistols are a lot of fun. Splitting is even better. I'm really loving this Kraken weapon. These, they, 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 these were in the game when I last played Ultra Mod, but they seem to have changed somewhat. I, I'm not 100% sure on that, but they feel like they're, they're different. I feel like they don't quite work the same way. Uh, I want to check if there's any alternate routes I can go down here. I'm not sure if there is. No, it doesn't look like it, does it? Right, what's, what's this weapon here? Toxic Assault Rifle. Toxic weapons I'm not particularly intrigued by at this moment in time. Uh, I've got Puffy Cheeks, Plutonium Hunger's always good. Scarier Face, though, is just too good to pass up. Ooh, hello. So as you can see, this enemy is sleeping. It is only brief, and not every enemy does sleep, as you just saw. So you do have to make the most of it as quickly as you plausibly can. It's not something that's just, like, gonna see you through every stage, but it is pretty nice to have that brief moment to sort of get your bearings a little bit. We got here director grenade launcher. Ooh, I'm liking the split on this. Oop, didn't get to didn't get anything on that stage. That was annoying. Missed out on everything. Because oh, these guys are still asleep even though they're um moving around. 
They must just be enemies that can't stop moving. So far as we're seeing, this is doing a pretty good job for us, though. The splitting effect of it is very nice. Direct assault. So director weapons, basically, they're like the normal variants, but if you double click, you can direct where you want it to go. So you do that look. Pretty cool. Pretty interesting. It's not something I want right now, I've got to say. Oh, also, IDPD spawn in the sleep, which is also really nice. That guy's on a Segway. Amazing. Gotta love it. There's one more enemy down here that I'm gonna take out for the drops. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Crown Vault. We got Reload Speed and Flame. Let's go with Flame on this bad boy with a Seeker Pistol. It seems fun. Zoom on down. Again, we're still going no crown early on here. We'll start taking crowns a little bit later on when we get more unlocks and stuff. But we do have the boss here straight away. Jawbreaker. That's only a level 1, so I don't want to bother with that. Now, luckily, I can actually keep my distance from this guy relatively well. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Oh god, I've accidentally clicked out of the screen. My bad. Oh god, he had it all stuck inside him there. Fiery boy. I'm loving those damage numbers, but there you go. We, we took him out. And we can go down to the next floor. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hello. Ooh, bolt marrow. Extra herming is very, very nice. Let's take that. Bouncer Bazooka. That seems horrible. And we're onto the Cheshire Cat level, which is a pretty cool level. But yeah, basically, we've already got a Seeking Weapon, but it gives it more strong and aggressive herming. And it also means that any other Bolt-based weapons we get in the future will uh, will work for us. It's a very bad hit I just took there. That was a very quick flaw, though. My god. I wonder what happens if I kill all the sheep. I feel like that's something. Oh my lord. Big health box is rather nice. We are through. Go to Crown Vault, please, because then we can grab a mutation. Frost. Mini Plasma Rifle. Let's take the Mini Plasma Rifle. So we've got Frost, which is real good. Lightning, Blood, and Flame. I think we're going to take... What do, what do we have here? Splinter? Ah, so we... We have a, a double Splinter on that. We have Flame, and then I think we'll take Frost as well. That seems good to me. Auto Spear Launcher. Hmm, I probably want this more. Oh, Cheshire Cat's in the business. Cheshire Cat's a pretty hard boss, so don't uh, don't be don't be sad with me if I don't beat it. I think Frost is gonna be pretty good against it though. Oh my god! Okay, I got it. Just about. Holy hell! Just about. And we are through to sort of the last area of the game now. The, fr the, the freezing ability is very good. Oh god, I've made big mistakes here, haven't I? How did I not die there? These big bear things, if they hit you, you're basically just dead. Oh my god, how am I not dead? Holy hell. That was very spicy. Mini Plasma Launch is pretty good. I'm loving the damage numbers to let us know we're about to kill these guys as well. It's pretty useful. Got a curse chest here. Car thrower. We're, we're okay for that. What the hell's this thing? I don't want to blow up this chest, but it's kind of making me right now. Deposit weapon. Deposit that in there, maybe? No, I don't want to... Okay, I don't know what that did. Take rabbit paw here. Whoa! I have zero idea what this was. I've never seen this in my life. This is very new to me. What on earth is going on? Pop laser. 
A lot of new enemies. A lot of bullets. Oh my goodness. Is he a boss? Oh my god. Okay, that was... I don't even know what to call that. That's such a cool boss, but god damn, I did not know what was going on there. Either way, I really hope you guys have enjoyed another reach back into Nuclear Throne Ultra Mod. I want to do more episodes of this series because I really just enjoy uh, Nuclear Throne Ultra. Um, and I haven't played it in quite some time on the channel, so I wanted to kind of revive the series a little bit. Um, I'm going to try and keep episodes to half an hour at a minimum. Um, obviously, with the runs being shorter as well as deaths being more common, it is going to happen. Uh, the runs, the videos might be shorter than my typical uh, Isaac videos. But either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And we'll um, boot back up in the next episode and try out some of the different characters we've unlocked to the vanilla ones and the modded ones. Um, and we'll just give it a go. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.